guys, welcome back. I am going to do a swipe for you today, a white swipe. So I've been doing lots of black swipes lately. Um, it's actually inspired by my daughter's friend, Casey. Hi, Casey. Um, I don't think Casey is actually a pourer, but she's been following a little bit of my work and she said, oh, I really want a, a painting with lots of white and some pale blues and like a little bit of a beachy theme because um, she's pregnant. Congratulations, Casey. Uh, so I thought I'll have a little practice and then maybe I can get Casey and my daughter Christy to come and pour with me. What do you think, girls? I think that's a good idea. So we'll have a little practice. Now I'll show you this guy. He's dry. That was Inferno, the five jiggle paws. One, two, three, four, five. Five jiggle paws. So dried exactly the same as when I left it left the video so not they don't really change they don't move they just stay put so that sits there really really pretty that one <clears throat> now um, I've changed one little thing with this swipe I'm gonna make my paints a little bit thinner just to see if I can get some nice big cells <clears throat> if it doesn't work I'll go back to my usual one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint this is two parts pouring medium to one part paint today and I'm using the 60% glue, 40% water. So in my cups, I've got um, 60 grams of pouring medium, which is two ounces, and one ounce or 30 grams of paint. So two to one. And I'm using the Montmartre acrylic. Don't worry if it doesn't say school. Some of them do, some of them don't. So that's the navy. That's this one here. Well, actually, no, it's thalo blue. When I make navy, I just add a bit of black. So that's the thalo blue. This is the white that I'm swiping with. It's empty now. Go through the paint, that's for sure. The swipe colour, I've just mixed the same two to one. I've got my little plastic sheet. It was just a document holder that I've cut up. It's just a nice weight. Make sure you hold it at the bottom, not on the sides, because then it can do this. It can bend. So make sure you hold it on the bottom. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, I haven't put the silicone oil in yet. Let's do that. Treadmill silicone oil spot on is the brand. I get that from eBay. I've got to get it from overseas, but I do like it. It's a bit expensive, but a bottle will last you, you know, years. You only use a drop or two at a time. Now, let's just put in, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just put in one. We'll see how that goes. You don't need a lot of oil for swipes, uh, especially because your swipe mixture is a little bit thinner than uh, like a, a flip cut pour. Flip cut pours are one to one and this is two to one. So it's, it's a difference. This is much thinner, but we'll see how we go. Sometimes the paints can be a little bit too thick and your cells end up being quite small. I think people like big cells, don't they? I like big cells and I cannot lie, as they say. So people like big cells, so we'll see if we get big cells. Now stir your oil really well, people. Otherwise you're gonna get big blobs of oil. And then when you start tilting and stretching, they turn into big blobs. Not so important with, with swipes, I guess, because we're not going to be tilting our cells. But for flip cut pores, um, you know, where you stretch your cells out, you have to make sure that it's really really well mixed in now that can sit over there no oil in the swipe color so now it's just a matter of pouring your colors out um, so dark blue light blue dark tealy green light tealy green <clears throat> bit of a turquoise and a, and a beachy color so that's my sand all right so we've got ocean colors um, as you guys know do a dark and a light of one color a dark and a light of another colour and maybe just a, a pop colour. <clears throat> right, let's get started. Just pour these out. We are going to stretch and tilt and cover the whole canvas. But use it all your paint, scrape it all out, don't waste any of it. Okay, that's a bit blue. I better move my plastic out of the way. I've got my paper towel ready to go. It's behind me to 
wipe my plastic on once I've swiped with it. Rightio, here's the blue, the lighter blue. Try not to cover up all my colours. So when you put your next layer on, so try to go into the, the space there because you don't want to cover your colours. You want to be able to see your colours when you swipe. So try not to cover them. Use that space in between. And then once we start tilting, it'll all kind of blend in together. Might not use all of the brown. Left a little bit there. We'll see how we go. Now I'm trying to just fill in my little gaps here. So there's no rush. Take your time. Put your paint where it's needed. Sunday today, did everyone have a nice Saturday, nice weekend? I haven't poured since Thursday, I've been busy working and doing workshops and things. So <clears throat> I haven't actually poured for a while. That dreaded work, it gets in the way of pouring, doesn't it? Sure does. So hopefully everyone had a nice weekend. So I've got 700, well, just under 700 grams of mixed paint for this size. This is a 50 centimeter by 40 centimeter, 40 by 50. Um, gee, what is that in ounces? <clears throat> 16 by 20 maybe? Yeah, 16 by 20 inches. Just drizzle this dark teal over the top. So I need about 700 grams. If you want to know what that is in ounces, divide 700 by 30. And that'll tell you how much paint you need. Don't worry about it if you've got any gaps. We're going to um, tilt in a minute and cover all these gaps. All right, that's all the paint out. All right. Yeah, so 700 grams of mixed paint for this size. And that'll give you enough to, you know, tip it over the edges. You should do lose some going over your edges. But just try not to lose too much. Just sort of wriggle your canvas until it kind of goes over. Take the paint to where you want it to go, the weight of the paint to where you want it to go. It's easy to control it really. Move the weight here to get over there. So it's much thinner. It's, it's moving really quite quickly. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I do want big cells though. So. We shall see. Now see how there's still a lot of paint on the surface there? See how it's moving really fast? We don't want to leave all that on. It's too much. So we'll just take a little bit more off. As I said, there's plenty there. See that big puddle in the middle there? We don't want to leave too much paint on the surface. Right, that'll do. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I haven't done the bottom corner down here. Let me go over this corner. Okay, that's the, got that corner. So, as you can see, the paint's all kind of all over the place. It's all mixed and blended. That's fine. Because we're going to swipe. Missed my corner. That's all right. I'll fix that up later. So now I put down my 
bit of paper towel that I have organized just there. So once I bring my plastic down, I can clean it on there. There's my plastic, let's put it there on the side. Now I'm gonna do a reflection swipe. So pull the white down the center, swipe up, swipe down, dumpskies. All right, here we go. Not too much though. It's been so long since I did a white swipe. Right, now make sure you have one foot in front of the other, otherwise when you get down to here, you're gonna fall over. Touch the white. Don't dig into it, just lay your plastic gently on it. And off you go, pull down towards you. <laughs> Try and go straight, it's not always easy. And then that's where you wipe your little plastic off. Now that's got color on it, so you don't wanna put that back into the white. So turn it round, use your clean side. I do have another piece of plastic for my other side. So I can keep everything nice and clean. Overlap a little bit. And off we go. Let's try not to swipe over that lovely cell there. All right, so that's been used both sides. So I'm just gonna pop it over on the side there. As I said, I do have another piece. Let's turn this around. What do you think of my camera angle today? I've got my tripod up on the table. So it's more of a direct straight down look. So let me know what you think of that, if you like it. Maybe you don't notice any difference, I don't know. Right, oh, here's my next sheet of plastic. Touched into the white again. Now over here, I need to put a little bit more white just there. Otherwise I'm gonna be dragging through that blue and I don't wanna do that. All right, now make sure you're holding down the bottom of your plastic, one foot in front of the other. Touch your white, off you go. Oops, dragged something through there. That shouldn't matter. Once you start, once your torch and your cells pop up, if you do have anything like that, I don't know what that is, must be a little, a little maybe a little blob of unmixed paint or something and it's caught and it's dragged through. I don't particularly like swiping twice. Um, you know, if, if you're swiping with black and you've got a lot of black on the surface, you may have to swipe twice, but with the white like this, we'll see how it goes on a torch. Look at the size of that cell, my gosh. It's got multi-colors in it. So I prefer not to swipe again, only because it's gonna make more lines, but there's a lot of white there, so we'll have to see what happens. I may have poured too much white down the center. Right, oh, let's torch and watch the magic happen. Got my big boy butane torch. Don't get too close, just go around in little circles. You can always come back. So give it a little bit of heat and move on. Don't stay in one section for too long. You'll overdo it and you'll get a big cluster of cells. You might even burn your paint. These are big cells, you guys. Now I'm not gonna get much in that big section of white there. The lesson learned, not so much white. I thought I was pouring on just a little bit, but obviously it was too much white. This area, it says a lot of white. I guess you could, if you wanted to, swipe again. Um, get rid of some of that white. I'm torching into it there and there's nothing nothing coming up. I may actually go over that again. Let me get a piece of clean plastic. If I can find one, here's a little piece. The only, the only thing is, you know, you know, lose those cells that you've already got but I think I'd rather do that than have a big gap there so um, where can I put this that I'm not going to do too much damage 
Oh, look, it's caught on something again. Dear, oh dear, what is that? Something in there. Little tiny blob of paint or something. So it's enough to catch and just drag that through and, and ruin your painting. I have to try a little bit higher now. So as you can see, I get a, a totally different look now because I've dug into my white, which I really didn't want to do. Let's see if I can fix that. This is why I said earlier, it's best just to swipe once. It really is. It's um, it's not worth the trouble of swiping twice. I think it's probably easier just to scrape it and start again with, with your white anyway, because it's... And then where this has touched that, you know, the cells stretched. So yeah, it's not, it's not ideal. It's really not. What do you think of the size of my cells though? Do you like them? Now the other thing you can see, because I've swiped this area a couple of times, I've thinned out the paint, so the cells over here are smaller. So, learnt something. I actually think that maybe they're too big, they're starting to bump into each other and go a little bit wobbly. I prefer them to be like this, where they're not sort of, see that touching each other and bumping into each other, so they lose their round shape. Now because I've kind of ruined that, I'm just going to swipe again and I'll most likely scrape this and do it again. Take off a little bit more paint. Yeah, so if, you, if you're going to swipe again on one section, and then where the two join, you get that, that line where the cells have been pulled through. You may want to just do that whole side again. too much white through. See how there's so much white there? So I'm not actually getting cells through there. So I have to take more white off now. So now we get more of like that sort of a, a rainbow look rather than just that white haze over it like that. So you'll, you'll get cells but it'll be a different kind of a look. because I've, I've got less white over here the color is coming up from underneath um, and because I've made my paint thinner here because I've swiped it twice there's less paint so my cells should stay a little bit smaller so what do you think swipe twice swipe once I think I'll go back to my thicker mix I mean these cells are pretty but with a thinner mix, A, the cells grow bigger, B, your paints might mix a little bit more and uh, become a little bit more muddy. So anyway, there you go. You've learned something about uh, consistencies. So I will, oh, look at the blue. How bright is that? I will no doubt just scrape this one and um, I'll do it again with my usual one and a half 
parts pouring medium to one part paint because I just feel that this is too, the cells are too big and out of control. But if you like that sort of cell, that big one, then as you can see, make your mix thick, thinner. Alrighty, well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope you've learnt something. There it is. Learnt something about consistencies with swipes. So the thinner the mix, the bigger the cell. Alright, I don't think I'll take you down for a close up, I'll just leave it at that. Multicoloured cells. And um, it's probably a little bit darker than I was hoping for. I might take out the, the teal next time. I don't think it really adds much to the picture. So, all right. I will uh, see you for the next one. Bye for now.